In this video, we're going to be photographing a calla lily. Hello, my name's Stuart Wood and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be photographing a calla lily. And I'm going to do two different shoots. One is going to be the lily on its own. And then after that, we're going to introduce a black and white jumping spider and hopefully get him to go inside this lily so we can photograph. So first things first, this is going to be two part again. We're going to cover the setup photography in the first video and then we're going to do the retouching in the second video. People are really liking that format so I'm going to be sticking to that format as much as possible. For the setup, I'm going to use my specimen holder. There are links in the description for all the products that are in this uh, video. Again, they are affiliate links, so you know, they help out the channel by giving us a bit of a kickback. So we're going to set it up like this because for me, it's going to be a lot easier to photograph it like that with the camera coming this way than me trying to photograph looking down on it. So the background, I want to be completely black. I'm probably going to change this to black and white because we've got a, a nice white flower, black background. The spider that's going to go inside it is going to be black and white. Don't worry if you suffer from arachnophobia, we're going to photograph the flower on its own first, okay? So let's get our black background. There we go. Well, I want the flower first of all. This part of the flower just here, I want right at the bottom. So I want to have black all the way around if possible. So we're going to frame up the camera next to get this flower. This part is going to be down the bottom of the frame. Let's uh, frame it up. So I have my camera roughly in the position I want. To finish it off, I'm going to go into live view and then we're going to reposition the flower so that we can see right down the stem. To stop our specimen holder from showing up in the image, I'm going to cover it up with some black foil. Okay, so that's that done. We are going to get a little bit of reflection, but we can fix that in post and the reflections are coming from my video light so if you're doing this you probably won't get reflections or you can find something that's less creased just use that uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a test shot it should all be black i'm going to grab my speed light and i'm going to use my diffuser for my speed light i'm going to set it to the minimum power and i'm just going to hold it just above my camera okay then take a picture. Yeah, nice. So I want to bump up my aperture and get a F16. Let's try F16. What I'm going to do then is to take a series of shots because this is a manual flash, it's not TTL. Uh, you can work out what setting it should be on, but I'm stupid and can't work that out. So I'm just going to take a series of shots to see what the correct exposure should be. More, more power, Scotty. There we go. That's looking okay. That's a one eighth power on my flash. So next, we want to do the focus point, and I'm going to focus right into the middle. Okay. I'm just going to introduce a video light here. Okay. Because there's not enough light. And what I can do in live view is if you watch the monitor here, I can zoom in. See that? Okay, then I can focus. Now that we've got that focused in, we'll pop out a live view. Take another shot. It would be nice if we could have this right in the center so it's in line with where the pollen is in the flower. So I'm going to do that now. And again, because I've moved the flower, we want to do another test shot. I'm just going to take that off so you can see me. Okay. So there we have a nice shot of our calla lily. Now, if you're here for just that shot, then that'll be it for you. If you suffer from arachnophobia, turn off the video, you don't want to go any further. The next, what I want to do for the shot I want in my head, 
I'm going to get one of my black and white male jumping spiders, introduce them to our scene, and hopefully, let's just turn this off so we can save power. Hopefully, we can coax him inside, get him to turn around so he's focused, uh, so he's facing the camera, and get the shot I want. So for this particular shot, again, we don't want to use fidget because he's always horny like me so we're going to use Buster let's get Buster out of his enclosure so here we go right where's he just one off to there we go he's Buster oh there we go you can get jumping because we want you to perform nicely for the audience at home so there's Buster so I'm going to introduce him to RC Most of the time, they don't want to leave your hand. Okay, so he's actually going straight in. I'm going to be quick here. I'm going to... Okay, I know you can't see me very well. I've got to act quickly because he's, he's getting into position. I need to drop back to F16. Okay, we need to lower the power to one eighth, I believe it was. Okay, and what I'm doing, I'm just sitting in, I'm just going to wait for him to turn around. So Buster is just turning around, I'm going to act quickly here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it quickly into live view, focus on his eyes and get the shot I want. Hopefully my wireless system will work again. Now we've got a, an image I can fall back onto. Because what I want is I want, I want this right above him so it gives it them nice reflection on his eyes. And there we go. That's the shot I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do is all I'm going to do now is just play with the light while he's still. Hard work, mostly because of my wireless trigger not working. So, these little guys, I've had them almost 10 years now. I think they're due for an upgrade, so we might have to look into that. So Buster is just chilling on the end of this flower. If you're a subscriber and a regular to the channel, you'll know that Fidget would no way sit there like that. He's just, he's all over the place. That's why these spiders, they have different personalities and I knew because I know my spider so well, I knew that Buster was the choice to do this shoot with. So here are the finished images. The first one is of the Calla Lily on its own. And the second one is of Buster inside the Calla Lily. These have been edited in Lightroom and Photoshop. And if you want to see that video, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel and wait for the next video where we will be taking these images into Photoshop and Lightroom and we will be editing them. I've done this scene about five times now and he's still sitting there chilling out. But anyway, that's it for this photo shoot. Did you enjoy it? Or are you going to give this a try? Maybe without a jumping spider for those people that are suffering from arachnophobia. If you do, let me know. Join my Facebook group, which is the Macro World over on Facebook. Share your images. I'd love to see them. But for now, my name is Stuart Wood. Again, if you did enjoy it, smash that thumbs up button. It does help out the videos and the channel. But uh, for this video, from me and from Buster, we'll see you on the next video. They just hate it when your batteries die. I had it all set up and my battery died.